mode. Good day to everyone joining us and welcome to today's Excellence webinar, Spray Dry Dispersion Formulations in Suspensions and Solid Dosage Forms featuring Bend Research Inc. My name is Donna Papacosta and I'll be your host for today. This seminar will run for about 30 minutes including a Q&A session toward the end. This webinar is designed to be interactive, so please feel free to type in questions and comments throughout the presentation by using the questions function located on the panel on the right side of your screen. If we cannot answer your question during the allotted time period, we will send you a direct reply following the live webinar. We will also be running a polling question. We hope that this will drive audience participation. We appreciate your participation and we will share the results with you. At this time, all participants are in listen-only mode. This event will be recorded and made available for future download. The presentation slides will advance automatically. If you do need technical assistance, please contact GoToWebinar at the numbers displayed. In the U.S., 800-263-6317 or 1-805-617-7000. Now we'd like to begin the formal presentation. For more than 35 years, Bend Research has worked with clients to create value by advancing new medicines that improve human health and to solve their most difficult scientific and technical problems. This success is based on a company's avail ability to develop, advance, and commercialize pharmaceutical technologies. The firm's innovative drug delivery solutions grow from their solid understanding of scientific and engineering fundamentals. Bend Research provides formulation and dosage form support, assists in process development and optimization, manufactures clinical trial quantities of drug candidates in its CGMP facilities, and advances promising drug candidates from conception through commercialization. Bend Research is a leader in novel formulations, including solubilization technologies such as spray-dry dispersions and hot melt extrusion formulations, as well as controlled release, inhalation, and biotherapeutics technologies. I'd now like to welcome our speaker for today's seminar, Corey J. Bloom. Dr. Bloom is the Director of Formulation Science at Bend Research in Bend, Oregon, and has been with the company since 2003. Dr. Bloom's responsibilities include leading a team that develops pharmaceutical formulations to improve stability and bioavailability for oral and local drug delivery, designs in vitro experiments to assess new dosage forms and formulations, and develops biological models to predict drug absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination, ADME. Before being named Director of Formulation Science, Dr. Bloom held the positions of Group Leader and Senior Research Chemist. He holds a Bachelor's Degree in Chemistry from Gustavus Adolphus College in St. Peter, Minnesota, and he earned his Ph.D. in Analytical Materials Chemistry from Colorado State University. And now, without further ado, I'd like to hand the microphone over to Corey Bloom. Corey, you may begin when ready. Well, thank you, Donna, for the nice introduction, and uh, thank you to all the attendees for your time and interest. Certainly appreciate that. Um, as Donna said, I'm, I'm Corey Bloom uh, from Bend Research, and uh, uh, again, uh, the title and topic of the, of the talk here is Spray Dry Dispersions, or SDD Formulations. Um, and their use uh, dosing in suspensions and solid dosage forms. So, so we'll, we'll touch on those topics and, and uh, hopefully make make clear some uh, points of particular interest. Um, this uh, I have a couple slides just before I get into the meat of that that uh, just kind of describe uh, Fund Research who we are, um, where we are, and, and, and what it is that we do, and then I'll get into the the meat of the talk. Um, Having a little trouble switching slides, though. Which was not the case before. Pardon me for the technical difficulties here. Um, Don or Kim, if you have ideas as to, uh, it appears to be kind of locked up on this first screen. 
There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll be set to go now. Um, so vendor search, um, where are we and who are we again? We'll, we'll just have a couple of slides on this and then I'll get to the, get to the, uh, the main discussion. Um, Bend Research, we are in Bend, Oregon, and uh, I, I imagine there are, are attendees from, from different places around the country who, who may not be familiar with uh, where Bend, Oregon is, so there's a map there that just shows you we're kind of right in the middle of the state in central Oregon, and we're on the eastern side of the Cascade Mountains, uh, which is kind of the dry side, um, so our, our weather is, is quite a bit drier than what you might imagine um, Oregon to be like in, say, Portland or Eugene. Um, and, and we do have, uh, you know, direct access to a lot of mountain recreation, so it's a nice place to live with a nice climate and uh, lots of fun outdoors things to do. Um, our company, uh, currently we have about 205 employees. We've been around since 1975. Uh, and we do have currently four main facilities, uh, which are shown on the slide here. And um, uh, right now I'm, I'm at the research and analytical site in, in Tumalo. Um, we also have, uh, as it says, an engineering and, and uh, pilot plant um, where we do the scale up of, of new formulations. Uh, we do have our, our main GMP manufacturing facility, uh, which is shown there and there right next to each other. And then we have a new uh, facility, uh, which would be additional capacity for GMP manufacturing that uh, we're just in the process of filling out. So we are uh, expanding a bit um, currently, which is, uh, of course, nice. Um, and we like to say um, our company and our facilities are sort of vertically integrated in that we do everything from new technology development um, and analysis all the way through scale up and, and GMP, late stage GMP manufacturing. Um, as far as the technologies that we practice, um, as shown here on this slide, uh, and we kind of have a number of, of what we call mature technologies, which is to say that they've, they've been in the clinic at, uh, at, at pretty late stage in the clinic. Um, they revolve around oral drug delivery. Um, we're, we're probably best known for solubilization, so we're looking at the left-hand side of the slide here. We're kind of best known uh, for solubilization, particularly spray dry dispersions. Um, we practice a number of other solubilization technologies routinely, including hot melt extrusion, um, some other nanoparticle-based formulations. We also do a fair amount of uh, controlled release, and we'll touch on that a little bit today. But, but the primary focus of the talk, obviously, again today is, is going to be around spray dry dispersions. Uh, and their, their use in, in solid dosage forms and suspensions. Uh, I won't talk about them extensively at all beyond this. We, we do also practice a number of what we call emerging or new technologies um, that we are continuing to develop, uh, most notably pulmonary delivery, which is a, a pretty logical offshoot of our expertise in spray drying uh, and particle engineering. So um, if somebody's interested in, in those applications, certainly happy to, to talk offline or field questions in another venue, but, but I won't be touching on any of those uh, technologies further today. Uh, so with that, um, to the main uh, part of the talk here, again, uh, we're going to be discussing spray dry dispersions and, and their dosage both in suspensions and solid dosage forms. So this is just kind of an outline of the talk, um, hopefully to, to keep everybody clear on, on the topics that we're going to go over. Um, so he's discussing spray dry dispersions and kind of touching on the three key attributes, um, which are manufacturer performance and stability. And of course, the idea is, is to choose a, a formulation in a process which has acceptable um, attributes in, in, in all three of those areas. Um, and, then, and then we'll move on to discussing uh, dosing, both in the form of, of uh, suspensions, um, a, a dry powder, which can be suspended for, for liquid dosing, and then solid dosage forms. Um, both for immediate release uh, and, and modified or controlled release. Um, and, and there's a cartoon here of, of uh, the polymer HPMCS, which I'll, I'll discuss further later. But it is one of the excipients um, that we use often, but not exclusively, for, for SDD formulation. 